Hey guys, it's Paul. Just to bring you a little update. At this point, with Daniel having shown up in just about every terrain known to man, up in the mountains, on the beach in Mexico, and in that singular anomaly known as Texas, Andrew and I have basically completely given up on trying to keep up with him. However, we're not completely useless, because unlike him, we're still here, back where it all started. So we've been doing a little investigation of our own, going around town asking people what they remember about Bree's mysterious parents. As you can imagine, an entire family disappearing without a trace does not go unnoticed, and many around here have been trying to figure out what exactly happened. First off, Bree's dad. What I've managed to gather from everyone seems pretty much the same. He went to work, he came home, he read the paper, he went to bed. And, uh, he signed his daughter up for secret cults. But, overall, he was a very bad numbers guy. But he's also a very good man. He always did what he thought was right for his family, and, as you can see, he raised about the smartest daughter anyone could ask for. She must have done something right. Bree's mom, on the other hand, well, Bree's mom liked to move around a lot. She was a very adventurous person. Believe it or not, for being such a protective parent, when she was younger, she liked to climb things and fling herself off of cliffs and ride big wild horses and fly planes. When it comes down to it, it seems like they are very different people with very different dreams. And while they managed to sync it up for the most part with Bree, I think it was these differences which led to the divergence she alluded to after seeing her dad again. So, what can we do from here? Not much. However, we do have a surprise for you. You know that hymn of one cult, which now is Bree and everything? Turns out they're holding auditions today or something. Andrew and I would go, but seeing as we've put up videos before, they might recognize us as being Daniel's friends, and we don't want to be in that position. After all, they've made it clear they're not above breaking into someone's house and kidnapping them. But then again, neither is Daniel. I know what you're thinking. Disappointed, right? Well, don't be. Because we told our friend Jess about it, and she was interested in the assignment. So right now, as we speak, she's undercover trying to get an audition to sing with him of one. None of us are quite sure what any of this means, but hopefully she'll have some interesting footage to bring back. Presuming she does come back. So stay tuned.